dear students let us discuss the complex number exercise 1c complex number is exercise 1c <coughs> page number 25 roman number 2 two sums completed let us discuss about roman number 2 second sum onwards roman number 2 general number 2 everything is same second one if the real part of If the real part of z plus one by z plus i is one, real part of z plus one by z plus i is one, find out the sum of z. Let P x one gamma y one be defined in the locus. In one by concept, in the complex number concept, we can say that the jet is equal to x plus i by is a complex number. Let jet is equal to x plus i by. That implies here jet plus one by jet plus i can be written as x plus i by plus one by x plus i by plus i. That is equal to x plus one plus i into y all by x plus i into y plus one. Rationalize the denominator. So that is multiply with conjugate complex number x minus i into y plus one. That is equal to x into x plus one minus i into x plus one into y plus one plus i x y minus i square becomes plus one so y into y plus one four by write the formula a plus i b into a minus i b cancel so a square plus b square x square plus y plus one whole square. In this one, let us write the imaginary part and real part. X square plus x plus y square plus y. This one and this one. This is real part. And plus i taken common. X y minus half x plus one into y plus one. Whole by x square plus y plus one whole square. X square plus y plus one whole square. In this expansion, given condition is that real part of this expansion equal to one. So this by this is real part. That implies. We can write x square plus y square plus x plus y whole by x square plus y square plus two y plus one is equal to one. Taking cross multiplication, we can write x square plus y square plus x plus y is equal to x square plus y square plus two y plus one. X square by square, everything get cancelled. That two by taken this side, it becomes x minus y minus one equal to zero is the required equation of locus. It is required equation of locus. Second question, 
second one third one if modulus of z minus 3 plus i is equal to 4 then determine the locus of z modulus of z minus 3 plus i in the similar way you write here let z is equal to x plus i by that implies modulus of x plus i by minus 3 plus i equal to 4 that implies x minus 3 it is a real part plus i taken common y plus 1 is equal to 4 modulus of a complex number means square of square root of component square plus component square so you can write here root of x minus 3 whole square plus of y plus 1 whole square is equal to 4 by squaring both sides you can write x minus 3 whole square x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 1 whole square equal to 4 square locus is a circle this locus is a circle having center 3 comma minus 1 and radius 4 having center 3 comma minus 1 and radius 4 x square plus y square minus 6x minus plus 2y minus 6 Second one, second one, fourth one. If modulus of z plus a i is equal to modulus of z minus a i, find locus of z. Find locus of z. Let z is equal to x plus i by write the condition modulus of x plus i by plus i into a is equal to modulus of x plus i by minus i into a that implies modulus of x plus i into y plus a that is equal to modulus of x plus i into y minus a by the definition of modulus you can write here square root of x square plus y plus a whole square is equal to square root of x square plus y minus a whole square taking squaring on both sides we can write x plus x square plus y plus a whole square minus x square minus y minus a whole square equal to 0 x square x square get cancel a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square formula for a b so 4 into y into a is equal to 0 therefore y is equal to 0 is the locus y equal to 0 meaning only x axis Problem number two. Third one. Given that if z is equal to x plus i by, and if the point B the arc and plane representation represents z 
then then describe geometrically the locus which satisfying the equations in the same order first one 2z minus 3 is equal to 7 you can place plenty of signs in objective level one modulus of z minus 3 is equal to 7 directly you can write whenever z is equal to x plus a we already given no need to consider no need to take 2 into x plus a we directly can write minus 3 is equal to 7 this is over modulus that implies 2x minus 3 2x minus 3 plus 2 i by 2x minus 3 yeah Plus two i by z equal to seven. The templates modulus meaning square root of square of component square plus component square seven by squaring both sides. We can write here two x minus three whole square. 2x minus 3 whole square plus 4y square is equal to 49. So if we take two common <coughs> and if we write 7 by 2, it is better. You can write here x minus 3 by 2 whole square plus y square is equal to 7 by 2 whole square. This is the circle having center three by two comma zero and radius is seven by two. This locus is a circle having center three by two comma zero comma radius r is equal to seven by two. Second one, Roman number two, general number three, Roman number two. Modulus of z square is equal to four real of z plus two. Modulus of z square is equal to four into real of z plus two. By taking z is equal to x plus i by right here, modulus of z whole square that is modulus of x plus y whole square is equal to 4 into real of x plus i by plus 2 that implies modulus means root of component square plus component square this is mod square so root square get cancelled you can write here x square plus y square is equal to 4 into Real of x plus two means only real. You should consider. You should not consider imaginary. Therefore, locus is of course it is also a circle. Locus is x square plus y square minus four x minus eight equal to zero. Third one, modulus of z plus i whole square minus modulus of z minus i whole square is equal to two. By taking mod z is equal to x plus i by this is x plus i by plus i whole square. Minus of x plus y by minus y whole square is equal to two. That implies modulus of x plus y into y plus one total whole square minus modulus of x plus y taken down here y minus one whole square is equal to two. Modulus whole square is simply Real part whole square plus imaginary part whole square. So x square plus of y plus one whole square 
minus x square minus of y minus 1 whole square. Of course, it is minus of root. It within the brackets x square plus y minus 1 whole square is equal to this is 2. Here, x square, x square will be getting cancelled. A plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is equal to 4ab. So, 4y is equal to 2 root. So, y is equal to 1 by 2. y is equal to 1 by 2 means it is parallel to x axis. R, vertical. R is ample line. The locus C is parallel to x axis. Therefore, locus is horizontal line. Locus is horizontal line. Now, fourth question. Modulus of z plus 4a plus modulus of z minus 4a is equal to 10. If you know the theory and concept about the equation of ellipse and the equation of locus in first year, you can say directly that it is an ellipse. Formula B A plus B B is equal to K concept, where K greater than A B. So K greater than 4 plus 4 A K greater than A B is ellipse. You can learn an object. Now we should do completing the sum. By applying that is equal to x plus i by, right here x plus i by plus 4i plus x plus i by minus 4i. x plus i by minus 4i equal to 10. That implies modulus of x plus i taken common here. You can write y plus 4 over modulus plus x plus i taken common y minus 4 that is equal to 10. Modulus meaning itself is square root of component square plus component square. So root of x square plus y plus 4 whole square plus square root of x square plus y minus 4 whole square is equal to 10 root of x square plus y plus 4 whole square is equal to 10 minus root of x square plus y minus 4 whole square. By squaring both sides, I think you have done first year formula P A plus B is equal to 4 like that. that. Like that model you can do everything. By squaring both sides, you can get here x square plus y plus 4 whole square is equal to 100 minus 20 into root of x square plus y minus 4 whole square plus x square plus y minus 4 whole square. Here x square will be getting cancelled y minus 4 whole square taken this side so write like this y plus 4 whole square minus of y minus 4 whole square is equal to take 20 common here so 20 into this is the 5 minus root of x square plus y minus 4 whole square this can be written as the form a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square becomes 4ab. So 4 into y into 4 is equal to 20 into 5 minus root of x square plus of y minus 4 whole square. This 4 will divide 5 times. That implies next step you can write 4y is equal to 25 minus 5 root of x square plus y minus 4 whole square that this 25 taken left side you write here 4y minus 25 is equal to minus 5 root of x square plus y minus 4 whole square now squaring both sides 16 y square Minus 2 4s are 8, 25s are 200 by 
16y square minus 200y plus 625 is equal to 25 into x square plus 25 into x square plus y square minus 8y plus 16 by expanding next step 16y square minus 200y plus 25 is equal to multiply with 25 25x square plus 25y square minus 200y plus 400 here minus 200 get cancelled 25x square that implies 25x square 25x square plus 9y square 25x square plus 9y square is equal to this is 625 625 minus 400 gives 225 so divide by 225 divide by 225 it becomes x square by 9 plus y square by 25 equal to 1 this here a less than b the value ellipse standard equation x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 here a square equal to 9 b square equal to 25 so a is equal to 3 b is equal to 5 so a less than b ellipse it is called as inverted ellipse or reverted ellipse shape will be like this it is inverted ellipse or reverted ellipse. General shape is like this. A greater than B ellipse is like this. This is A less than B. So here E is equal to E means eccentricity 1 minus root of formula A square by B square. Original formula is B square by E square but for inverted ellipse A square by B square. 1 minus small by big that is equal to you can write 4 by 5. At last, you should write the log plus is an inverted ellipse. Or log plus is an ellipse having a less than b. The meaning itself is inverted ellipse or reverted ellipse. This is the log plus. Without doing all the sum, you can say answer in objective. If you know the full concept of ellipse, let us discuss the concept of theory, sums and everything in object. Last question, fourth question in Roman number 2, page number 25. If Z1, Z2 are two non zero complex numbers, satisfy modulus of Z1 plus mod modulus of Z1 plus Z2 full is equal to modulus Z1 plus modulus Z2, then show that argument, argument Z1 minus argument Z2 is equal to. This is IMB for objective. In objective, we should use this one as a formula. Modulus of Z1 plus Z2 is equal to modulus Z1 close plus modulus Z2 separate. Modulus Z1 plus modulus Z2. Here, we should consider two complex numbers let z1 is equal to x1 plus i by 1 z2 is equal to x2 plus i by 2 z2 is equal to x2 plus i by 2 now 
Take this one. Modulus of z1 plus z2 becomes modulus of x1 plus i y1 plus x2 plus i y2 is equal to take separate mod separate modulus of x1 plus i y1 plus x2 plus i y2. That implies take real part aside x1 plus x2 plus i into y1 plus y2 is equal to modulus of x1 plus i y1 plus modulus of x2 plus i y2 that implies modulus meaning is root of real part square plus imaginary part square so square root of right here x1 plus x2 whole square plus y1 plus y2 whole square is equal to here separate square root you can take root of x1 square plus y1 square plus again root of x2 square plus y2 square now squaring on both sides x1 plus x2 whole square let us do expand let us consider full expansion x1 square plus x2 square plus y1 square plus y2 square plus 2x1 x2 plus y1 y2 I mean 2x1 x2 plus 2y1 y2 is equal to for this one we can write x1 square plus y1 square plus x2 square plus y2 square plus root of x1 square plus y1 square this one also we can write x1 square x2 square plus x1 square y2 square x1 square x2 square plus x1 square y2 square plus x2 square y1 square plus y1 square y2 square so here we found a full multiplication completed x1 square get cancelled in the similar way everything square x1 square y1 square x2 like this will get cancelled 2 got cancelled so we can write here x1 x2 plus y1 y2 is equal to root of the full x1 square x2 square plus x1 square y2 square plus x2 square y1 square plus y1 square y2 square now take squaring both sides by squaring both sides we can write here x1 square x2 square plus y1 square y2 square plus 2 x1 x2 y1 y2 is equal to x1 square x2 square plus y1 square y2 square plus x1 square y2 square plus x2 square y1 square that's all now x1 square x2 square get cancelled both sides y1 square y2 square get cancelled both sides we have x1 y2 whole square minus 2x1 y2 into x2 y1 plus x2 y1 whole square equal to 0 this is other form a square minus 2ab plus b square 
So a minus b whole square concept x1 y2 minus x2 y1 whole square equal to 0. That implies x1 y2 minus x2 y1 is equal to 0. That implies x1 y2 is equal to x2 y1. is equal to x2 y1. So, here we should discuss, we should prove argument z1 minus argument z2 is equal to 0. You write here y2 by x2 is equal to y1 by x1. You can apply tan inverse of both sides tan inverse of y2 by x2 is equal to tan inverse of y1 by x1. So what is the tan inverse of y2 by x2 means it is nothing but theta, theta 1. Of course it is theta 2, theta 2 is equal to theta 1. So you can write argument z1 is equal to argument z2. Amplitude or argument is nothing but theta. So, argument z1 minus argument z2 is equal to 0. This is the proof of a objective synopsis. Simply, in objective we face this question. Simply, you can understand it modulus of z1 to z2 equal modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 separately, then theta 1 is equal to theta 2. 1 in 2014 or 2013 in mains exam, they given this question. If you can understand, this is simply a synopsis, you can Easily you can put a tick mark that theta 1 equal to theta 2 or argument z1 is equal to argument z2 or argument z1 minus argument z2 is equal to theta 2. If you feel this is a sum, you can do all this sum. You should do. So remember as a formula, whenever separate modulus is equal to separate total modulus of two complex numbers, then the angles are equal. Second question, this is the last question of exercise 1c. If z is equal to express a by another point p represents z in the organ plane, modulus of z minus a by z plus a is equal to 1, then find the local subject. Easy question. Modulus of z minus a by z plus a is equal to 1. You can write directly here x plus i by minus a by x plus i by plus a is equal to 1 that implies x minus a plus i by whole by separate mod you can take x plus a plus i by modulus of z1 by z2 is equal to mod z1 by mod z2 separately you can write so a cross multiplication modulus of x minus a plus i by is equal to modulus of x plus a plus i by root of modulus meaning real part whole square plus another real part square root of x minus a whole square plus y square is equal to f square root of x plus a whole square plus y square. Now write square in both sides. So this is x minus a whole square plus y square is equal to x plus a whole square plus y square. y square y square get cancelled. x plus a whole square minus x minus a whole square equal to 0. The formula a plus b whole square is a minus b whole square which is 4ab. So 4ax is equal to 0 of course only x is to try to cross to get the locus. Locus is simply y axis. 
focus of such complex number is y axis we have successfully completed exercise 1c before going to discuss exercise 1d some examples and some concepts you can learn <coughs> now you can put side heading complex plane complex plane already should i said this one just giving explanation if p x comma y v any point if p x comma y v any point in the cartesian coordinate system in the cartesian coordinate system the same point p the same point p x comma y represents on real axis comma imaginary axis real axis comma imaginary axis that is x comma y real axis means x axis imaginary axis meaning y axis real axis comma imaginary axis p x comma y the point p x comma y represents as a z that is a complex number the plane which get these defined such a plane is called as such plane is called as complex plane ah uh, argand plane complex plane or argand plane <coughs> that's all here note each and every geometrical properties each and every geometrical properties applicable to complex plane applicable to complex plane each and every geometrical properties applicable to complex plane let us see an example just a little example if z is equal to a plus b i is a complex number z bar is equal to a minus i b its is its mirror image that is nothing but 
take this is imaginary axis take this is the real axis put here a comma b so it is indicating plus plus same concept students plus plus minus plus and minus minus and this is plus minus so here if if you are writing a b here you can write a comma minus b this is a mirror image with respect to the real axis the mirror image of a plus i b with respect to real axis is a minus i b so what we are discussing now even though it is a complex number the property which belongs to the general geometry we are applying here general notation is 2 comma 3 this is 2 comma minus 3 if 2 comma 3 is in first quadrant we say 2 comma minus 3 is fourth quadrant in the similar way the same concept we cannot play here a b we should write as a plus i b here a comma minus b we should write as a minus i b and another example also we can discuss equation of line let us discuss equation of distance between let us consider distance between two points distance between two points general notation i am writing here z1 is equal to z1 is equal to x1 plus i by 1 z1 equal to x1 plus i by 1 z2 is equal to x2 plus i by 2 z2 is equal to x plus x2 plus i by 2 original geometry let us consider this is a z1 z2 if i am writing here a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 a b we can write as root of the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square otherwise x1 minus x2 whole square also we can write x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square now let us write modulus of z1 minus z2 because if the distance between two points is there simply the difference of two points is nothing but distance between two points example if i am writing here 2 comma 0 and this is 8 comma 0 this is a this is b a b is nothing but this 8 minus 2 so in the similar way you can say modulus of z1 minus z2 so modulus of z1 minus z2 now you write what is z1 x1 plus i by 1 by this i and what is z2 x2 plus i by 2 take over modulus so you can understand here modulus of x1 minus x2 take real for this side and imaginary for this side that is within bracket so what is indicating modulus modulus meaning that real for the square plus imaginary for the square so real for the square here x1 minus x2 at whole square imaginary for the y1 minus y2 whole square that is equal to root of real part square x1 minus x2 whole square x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square general notation everyone used to say root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y2 whole square of course x1 minus x2 whole square is nothing but x2 minus x1 whole square y1 minus y2 whole square is nothing but y2 minus y2 whole square in the similar way we can see about ellipse here in your page number 28 they are given all exams simply is discussing about all theory for circuit for equation of standard ellipse and hyperbola everything let us discuss the whole geometrical concepts in objective of course in IPE these concepts are not necessary so let us going to discuss these concepts regarding circular ellipse hyperbola with the shortcuts in, a, in object we can learn if you know about the ellipse theory and hyperbola theory everything then you can understand everything in 
complex numbers way that is why i said complex numbers topic is most easy in ip and complex number topic is most difficult in objective let us discuss in objective okay let us discuss the some examples these are enough what is enough for the concept every geometrical concept is useful every in complex theory so whatever the geometrical theory is there the same theory you can apply for this complex number now let us see the solve problems page number 29 Page number twenty nine. Show that. Show that the points one plus three i, four minus three i, five minus five i are collinear. If there is not i, you can understand simple geometry. It is I. You can understand it is complex plane. It is R cut plane. But theory is same for general geometry and complex geometry. Now let us write here A one comma three, and here you write B four comma minus three, C five comma minus five. Same old concept you use. What is old concept? To prove that they are collinear. Slope of A B C equals slope of B C equals slope of B C. R area of triangle is equal to zero. Any method you do. Now slope of A B I am writing slope formula also y to minus n x minus x one concept directly you can write here minus three minus three by four minus one. So minus x by three that is equal to minus two. Now slope slope of A B I am writing. Slope of BC is equal to minus five plus three by five minus four. That is equal to minus. Since since slope of AB is equal to slope of BC, therefore given points are collinear. Given points are collinear. Second one, find the equation of straight line. Find the equation of straight line joining the points represented by minus four plus three. Equation of straight line. Equation of straight line passing through. Equation of straight line passing through minus four plus three i, comma two minus three i. In the argon plane, we used to mention the argon plane, but while calculating, while while calculating in geometry concept, there were many jetwind equation of straight line is also given as. Argument of z minus z one by z minus z two is equal to zero. No, body will do in complex number students. It is sort of damn this method. Even though he given complex plane, no need to worry about the complex plane. Simply you should convert the complex numbers into real numbers and follow our geometric method. Equation of plane. Let y is equal to equation of line. You should calculate. Let y is equal to minus four comma three and b is equal to two comma minus. Simply equation of line directly you can find. Equation of line formula y minus y one is equal to y two minus y one into x two minus x one. Y two minus y one by x two minus x one into x minus x one. So it is y minus three is equal to minus three minus three by two plus four into x plus four. So y minus three is equal to this minus six by six becomes minus one into x plus four. So y minus three is equal to minus x minus four. Required equation of line directly you can write. Required equation of line is x plus y plus one equal to zero. This is the equation of line. 
Now example three, that is equal to x plus i by is a complex now. Represents in the order of three. Fourth one, that is equal to x plus i by represents in an ordered plane. Find the locus of z such that modulus z is equal to two. Modulus z is equal to two. Students, modulus z means root of x square plus y square equal to two. Pi square both sides x square plus y square equal to four. It is a circle. Enough. Having center zero comma zero at radius two, directly can write. Now fourth question. Fourth question. If the point, the point P represents a complex number that is the argon plane. If the amplitude is pi by four, that means the locus of it. Amplitude. This is easy question. Amplitude equal to pi by four. For Z is equal to a complex number x plus i by. You can understand that Z is equal to x plus i by. Can be written as Z is equal to x plus i by. Can be written as R into cos theta plus i sin theta. R into cos theta plus i sin theta given theta is equal to pi by four. So what is happening? x plus i by is equal to r into cos 45 value 1 by root 2 plus this is i into 1 by root 2. So of course r is equal to root of x square plus y square. So you can understand here. You can you can understand here theta is equal to pi by 4. It's okay. Theta is equal to we can write in another way the tan plus y by x. So that implies pi by no need to write this. So pi by four is equal to tan plus y by x. What is the value of tan forty five? Here tan forty five equal to y by x. So one is equal to y by x. Y is equal to x is the equation of locus. Equation of locus is x minus y equal to. If you give an object to directly, you can say using that one. For cos and sin, with 45 degrees only they are equal. So cos 45 degree one by two and sin 45 degree one by two is four. That equal to this x equal to y is the required equation of locus. Okay, students, you have entered into the concept of exercise one b. You have completed some examples. Let us go into discuss the next continuation examples and continuation exercise one b next class.